So you're thinking about getting your real estate license and you know that you need to get your real estate credits before you can actually sit for the exam, but you're just unsure if you should take those credits in classroom or if you should do them online. Well, today we'll tackle that decision together and determine if going in person classroom style is right for you or if you're better off going online. Hey, you time it. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Okay, so the fair way to go about this is to break things down into category and see when the classroom experience wins out and also when the online experience wins out. All right, so right off the bat, we're gonna jump into the deep end and we're gonna talk about cost, which wins out. In this case, when you're talking about cost, online is gonna win out 99% of the time, which means that it's gonna be hard to beat an online program whenever you're comparing it to an in-classroom experience. Because it's harder for physical schools to compete given that they have to get a commercial building that is large enough to have multiple students and also they have to get instructors to do live trainings. So that's why you're gonna find that online schools beat out the physical schools that do in-classroom teaching a majority of the time. All right, so now that we have cost out of the way, let's talk about speed because that is a big question that comes up whenever you make the decision to become a real estate agent, how quickly can I get my license? And on this one, I actually don't have a winner. So this one's gonna be a push. There's no clear cut winner, given that in the in-classroom experience, oftentimes you have all day school and you can do the same thing online. If you have the time, you can spend it in the classroom or online learning. And in reality, both the in-classroom and online experiences are gonna have a natural pause in between each course. Given that most states require that you let a certain time period go by after you test for one course before you can test for the next course. All right, so let's talk about flexibility. And here, online is gonna win hands down. Anytime you have internet connection, you're able to complete your coursework because all online courses are gonna give you a portal that you can log into whenever you want. You can log in in the mornings, in the mid afternoons, in the evenings, into the night, it doesn't matter. There's no set schedule. Whereas the in-classroom experience, you go when they're actually having class. You can't go before and you can't go after. Hey, one quick second, I know that you're having a ton of fun, but I just had an amazing idea. What if you hit the like button if you're gonna do your coursework in classroom? And also, what if you hit the like button if you do it online? You know, either way, let's hit the like button. All right, so let's talk about comprehension. Let's talk about you actually learning the material because that's kind of important, right? Not only do you need to pass the exam, but you also need to know what you're doing when you become a real estate agent. And in this case, I have to give the slight edge ever so slightly to the classroom experience. And the only reason I'm even giving the classroom experience a win in this department is when you're in a classroom setting, somebody else has the opportunity of asking a question that you hadn't even considered. So that type of experience is difficult to replicate online unless you're doing your courses through Zoom. And more and more schools are going down that way, but most of the time, whenever you're talking about online learning, you're talking about pre-recorded videos. Okay, so let's talk about networking because that's very important in the real estate space. And here I have to give the edge to the in-classroom experience. And the reason I say that is because you're in the same classroom as 10 other people, 20 other people, 50 other people, depending on the class size, that are looking to do the same thing that you're doing, which is getting into the real estate industry. So you're able to engage and communicate and network with other students relatively easy. Remember, these are going to be your peers. So you're able to form relationships right off the bat. And while you can do something similar in the online groups that some of the online real estate schools provide, it's just not the same. It's not as organic. Okay, so let's talk about choices. Let's talk about options. Here in this category, I have to give the edge to online. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, we want options and there's no greater options that you're gonna find than the online real estate schools out there. And if you compare that to the in-classroom experience, you're pretty much a prisoner to wherever you live. Maybe the local real estate school that is right down the road just isn't that good. So 
there's no other competitor out there, so you're kind of limited. And speaking of choices, I do have a recommended real estate school that is online that offers a 15 to 40% discount if you use the link down below. They are my preferred online real estate school that I recommend to my family members, to my friends, and to every real estate agent that I work with. I know that we went through a lot of categories, but at the end of the day, it comes down to internal reflection. Do you feel you have the best shot at passing the real estate exam if you do in classroom, or do you feel that you have the best shot of doing it online? You may be willing to pay more and have less convenience by going in classroom, but you know that you're gonna learn better that way, or you may be unable to leave your house at all, and also the budget is a big priority for you, then, the online experience might be the best way to go. Well, now that you know the difference between in-classroom or online, you might be interested in learning how to actually get some business. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.